end today, Divine Gypsies. All of you sharing your gift to give gone, this joy dance, this happy dance, this dance of, of wonder and awe. Thank you for joining Samadhi Game. We come to you every Monday and Wednesday at 7 o'clock with music, sometimes a little later, sometimes a little earlier, but at 8.30 for the processing, for the mantras of enlightenment, which are the Samadhi Game Manifesto. All you have to do is read it. All you have to do is say it. All you have to do is get up off your chair, off your <clears throat> butt, and start walking as a divine gypsy and saying these words that say, I am a gypsy, I am a divine wanderer of life, and I will manifest my life as joy. <laughs> so there is your introduction. You Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're, we're coming to you live from Teheras, and last night, what did we do? Gypsy Kings. <laughs> I tell you something, there is nothing more fun than to dance as a gypsy. Nothing more more wondrous than to dance in that world of of freedom. joy and freedom. Without uh, politically correctness. Without political correctness and without uh, inhibition. To get up and say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually get up and move my body in front of other people, for God's sakes. We inspired. Yes. Remember the people in front who were just like this? Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, they're <laughs> dancing, and they're, you're encouraging them with your smile. All of uh, the smile on your face, the movement of your limbs, the, the uh, expansion of your heart. The ability to dance in a, in a seat. Dance? Even dance while you are seated. In yeah. every moment, uh, try to find a way to dance, to share the love, to share the, the happiness. And these, as I say, these words from Samadhi Game aren't just, you know, sometimes you, you, people think about going to church and they sit about sitting in a pew. Listening. And listening to... Absorbing. And I can't, you know, whenever I go to church, I, I, I like going to churches, you know, I like going to different churches occasionally. Whenever I go, you know, it's, it's always when they finally break out the hymn book and you can sing that I'm, that I'm, I'm happy. That I finally go, all right, let's do this. Yeah. And uh, Even a sponge needs to be wrung out. <laughs> you can't get to constantly listen. <laughs> but as, yeah, yeah, as you say, it's right, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> so wring out those sponges. Let's get into some, ring, let's wring out the sponges with this, uh, this pillar of light, the pillar of the world. We're going to go to it right now. Let's establish ourselves with this, these celebrations of of consciousness by using these words come along join with us sing with us dance with us this, this pillar of light the pillar of the world sublime i am samadhi that i am enfolding me now in that mighty magic electronic pillar of cosmic light substance my identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity so powerful and complete that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity within this majestic pillar of light. Blazes that love as the violet compassionate flame enter and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, effortlessly dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all I contact with the tangible substance, living awareness, and conscious activity, the presence and superconscious samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light. As it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world. It's a visible pillar of the world. Mm -hmm. It's not hidden under a bushel. Mm -mm. It is a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant one and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine I am Samadhi. Let's go back one second and realize what happens when you become a visible pillar of the world. You've got to be ready. Your pillar of the world isn't just made out of straw. It's made out of your bright, shining light that is a gift to be given gone. Oftentimes, people don't want to see you shine. No, so there's the... Christy was talking about it the other day. Inevitably, there are those haters, she called it. 
There are those people that come out of the woodwork and say, How dare you shine? How dare you give your gift gone? How dare you? Sit down, will you please? <laughs> Stop dancing. <laughs> Assume the position. Assume the position. Ball yourself up. Wait for the entertainer. Wait for the inter the one entertainer to come forth and to share their light, which is which has been deemed politically correct. Don't be. It's actually communism. <laughs> it is communism. It's the capitalist communist conspiracy. Everybody has the same plates, same teapots, same shoes. That's really how it is, too, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tell us in Croatia. Tell us what happened. Well, I just said, everybody has the same plates, <laughs> same forks and knives. Nobody is able to be jealous of the next person because they have the same exact thing. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. And if you have something new, they keep it. And they wear it so long that they actually have to duct tape it as the kid grows. Uh, just to have like something, something new. Different. Different. Something different. Something different. That is uh, is really amazing. When we went to Croatia, we, um, we realized, I realized this, you know, that um, there may be clean streets... You may not see any beggars anywhere. But they want to change. It's just yeah. the government likes to have them as sheep. Yes. Still, mm -hmm. even though it's a quote-unquote democracy, democracy now, uh, the democracy that is there is really a continuation. Yeah, but, excuse me. I think our media is a um, um, communistic thing. Oh, as absolutely. As you step out, absolutely. They, point at you. they point at you out at you if you gain weight. They point at you if you lose weight. They point at you if you're not smiling anymore. And they wonder why. Mm -hmm. And they point at you if you smile too much. Too, definitely too much. You know, so uh, the idea is that we're going to be visible pillars of the world, no longer uh, hidden under a bushel, no longer waiting for that gypsy heart to be expressed in another, but finding a way to express that gypsy heart, that divine wanderer, that one who finds a way to express themselves and dance the dance of life, the flamenco rumba, now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Why not have fun? Yeah, well, why not? Let's do it. The, this pillar of light, the pillar of the world, come on. Sublime I am, Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity. Within this majestic pillar of light, blazes that love as the violet, compassionate flame, in, through, and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies. Dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all I contact with the tangible substance, living awareness and conscious activity, the presence and superconscious samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light as it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant one, and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine I am Samadhi. One other uh, comment is uh, when we shine as a visible pillar of the world, we inevitably get that lash back of the dual human ego. And surprisingly, though, it's that very shining of the, this, this gift to give gone that is our protection from the dual human ego. So it's a catch-22. It seems as though you're going to shine and you're going to get ob objection to that shining, but it's the shining that actually rolls back the objection. So be brave. See, go ahead and shine. Watch the objection come up, but shine so brightly that the object objection has to fall away. So let's go ahead and give it one more time. This, uh, this mantra of shining, this mantra of the pillar of light that you are. Sublime I am Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity. Within this majestic pillar of light, Blazes that love as the violet, compassionate flame. 
in, through, and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, effortlessly dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all I contact with a tangible substance, living awareness and conscious activity. The presence and superconscious super samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light as it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant one, and infinitely sensitive to an invulnerable state of divine I am samadhi. Let's go ahead and give the om and let that om swoon us into its light. Come on, with us, join us together. Om. 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 Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. Let's take all this dance, all this joy, all this wonder into the silence of the heart for a few moments, just sitting in this meditative pose, feeling this joy, feeling this happiness, feeling it, and feeling it coming from within the heart as we sit silently. Some of them must have been 70 and 80 years old playing. Some of them. Most of them were between 60 and 90. Yeah. I mean, how about that bass player? Oh, my God. He was slapping the bass. <laughs> slapping yeah. the bass. And you know what? That's what keeps him young. <laughs> oh, my God. It was absolutely the amazing. Kids, the kids that, you know, Dante and his two friends, uh, Kurt and, and Reed, they stood to attention to see the old grandpa playing bass like a icon. <laughs> well, it's a gypsy king, so. They, they are, are icons, icons of joy. And you can be that too. We can be that too. We can slab the bass. We can shine. We can, shine. We can go um, make people smile. Yes, why not? Why not? And, and it begins by smiling yourself drawing your attention to that inner smile. There's some yogas, you know, in the East where they concentrate on this smile, this inward smile. So when you sit in silent meditation, they, they can feel the smile. Hmm. I know, but when you smile to yourself, it's like an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. <laughs> People wonder, what are they laughing at? Well, the idea of that inside smile is to get it going, to percolate it, to, to get it really going. And then, and then finally it has to express itself. Yeah. It has to come out sure. as this expressed joy, this gift to give gone. Let's give another mantra. Let's go ahead and smile it outwardly <laughs> with our um, mantras. Oops, I've got to turn us all the way back to the beginning of these mantras. 
Let's go ahead and give invocation nobility individualized. These are all the sound, these are all qualities. It could be joy, it could be happiness, it could be wisdom, it could be harmony, and it all it is. It could be peace, and it is. And we'll say these words as though these are the words that we're going to pin our life to, Good. that we're going to pin on our life. Let's go. Invocation, nobility, individualized. O oh, omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent, omnipresent essence of oneness, charge and fill my body, hold and heal my feelings, magnify, my soul, magnify and seal my thoughts with the nobility of that individualized, limitless, unconditional love, prescient, lyrical poetry, deep and penetrating intimacy, resonant holy harmony, eternal commanding peace, clear and focused purity, fresh and crisp clarity, boundless radiant happiness, firm and steadfast faith, delicate springing hope, humble giving charity, resolve of placid patience, unruffled dispassionate poise, mature and selfless courage, mighty Herculean strength, unwaving determined fearlessness, dissolving consuming fire, blazing crystalline serenity, smooth and shunning tranquility, ebullient bubbling joy, witty transmuting humor, secure and manifest abundance, pure power and dominion, determined directed dharma, that I am, here, everywhere, now and forever, in action, in action, in action, here, everywhere, now and forever, I am, here, everywhere, now and forever, I am, here, everywhere, now and forever, in the fullness of cosmic joy, we accept this and miracles manifest here and now with unconditional love, wisdom, and power. Anchored in the earth, air, fire, water, and akasha, and tangibly manifest in our lives and in the lives of all evolutions of light throughout cosmos. Beautiful. So day by day, we're giving these mantras. Day by day, we... we create this momentum of light, consciously aware light. It doesn't just happen. If you think back, I don't know how many of you are consciously on the path of enlightenment, that you've chosen some discipline for yourself. But think back to before you had that discipline. Think back to where your consciousness was, how the days were just sort of uh, random, explorations of life. That's fine. Random is good. But at the same time, you can consciously direct it so that it goes in a specific direction. And that direction is this expanded, accelerated path of enlightenment. So as you put where you place the, the, the law that's working here is where you place your attention on that you become. So place your attention consciously on joy, on this dancing light within your heart, and say it. By saying these words, we're actually placing, we're, we're, we're signposting what is happening within us. We're saying, over there, look over there, mm -hmm, right there. There it is, let that flow, let that light flow. So let's go on and give a few more of these, yes. So, what would you suggest? What would you suggest? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me find a mantra here. Let me go to um, some of our beginning opening mantras. These mantras that have to do with establishing our divine identity, this divine gypsy within the heart. And take power <clears throat> back. And taking the power back into our worlds. Um, we had a request um, to a few women who have um, fallen into the pattern of abusive relationships and samadhi can really help. So these are the patterns to regain your power and move on, not allowing an abusive person to be a crutch. You know, I, I think um, what I can, I can say is that uh, there are stages of relationship. There are stages, and in the first stage of, of relationship, uh, a man assumes this identity of masculinity, and a woman assumes the role of femininity in its most, its most 
primordial way. Which is humility and servant. And it's in authority and domination. And somehow in the, this, 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 this particular pattern of relationship has grown in our society through, through thousands of years and it's become outmoded. It's no longer appropriate. And no, but as soon as a woman um, speaks up, she's labeled a B word. Yes, and and you and it's an essential part of the relationship. Yes, masculinity does carry different qualities than femininity, but we have to go beyond that. The second stage of relationship would be one in which there are boundaries. There is, in a way, it's even a politically correct relationship where we realize that I contain both masculine and feminine. This is the realization that has been coming upon the planet for the last 50 or so years. It's been breaking upon us and, we, and with the, the women's rights, even the last hundred years, women's ability to vote for God's sakes, you know, a hundred years ago or so. And and now it's becoming more and more prevalent where women can actually assume the same roles of men in society. But receive less pay. Receiving less pay, but it still has some equality to happen. But that's the second stage. The third stage, but what happens inevitably, if you are masculine and feminine, and I am masculine and feminine, I have everything I need right here within myself, and you have everything you need within ourselves. Boring. It becomes boring. And it becomes this, this, and there becomes this sort of lack of enthusiasm. Because this lack of. Because humans are not asexual. You need, yes. You need two. You lack this lack of dynamic energy. So we can, once we get to this point now, we can consciously choose, which we do in Samadhi game. In certain points, you'll see where men say affirmations together and women say affirmations together because we can choose to polarize ourselves in a way that creates a between a male mm -hmm. and a female. Mm -hmm. And we can choose to assume the roles mm -hmm. in a way that is appropriate. Sometimes even a woman can gain the masculine role. And then it flips again and the man regains the masculine role. And you play it. Now you're playing with, the con with this energy consciously, which is what we were intended to do on this planet, is play consciously with duality rather than have it just be willy-nilly. We are now in masculine role. Now we're in feminine role. It's a center. You, we find the neutral witness which allows us to find, to, to use every corner of the dual human ego consciously willingly, at command. And by doing so, our lives become abundant and rich mm -hmm. and free of that debilitating first stage relationship. But now we have all the benefits of the first stage relationship, which is that spark. Mm -hmm. We have all the benefits of the second stage relationship, which is that, which is that uh, respect. And the third stage relationship, which is creativity and artistic flow. So we have everything when we have these three stages fulfilled. So come on with us with Samadhi Game. It's all there, all, of the, all that you need in order to gain your freedom at, from debilitating relationships is to find the truth of your neutral witness within your heart. And that's done by giving these mantras. Now let's go on and give the heart felt tangible Samadhi. Oh great spirit, oh mighty I am Samadhi at the center of all creation. Radiant with illuminating fire, O heartfelt parent of all sons and sons, pour forth that life-giving power, fan the spark of that divinity on the altar of my heart. Amplify and magnify this spark by the fire breath of the whole I spirit, into the potent God flame that I am, O the shimmering fountain of life, that I feel, hear, taste, that I hear, feel, smell, taste, and see within me. I choose this constant cascade of liquid light. Activity receiving its shimmering directive radiance, tangibly and powerfully manifest in my experience. I open the innermost temple of love within this evident, ebullient, celestial, cosmic fire. I manifest that life and light for our healing and regeneration, letting the breath, height, fullness, and crown of the solar radiance of the sun behind the sun appear. I stand forth. Revealed in and through me is the neutral witness, that Christos, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, Monarch, Divine Mother, Father, Son, Conscious Awareness. I am the visible, audible, and tangible flame of eternal life, breathing the center of any prana from the source to the root of my being. 
liquid rays of light, flooding my chakras, seated upon their lotus thrones of love, molten gold of enlightenment, shivering ascension up my spine, crowning my awareness with the diamond rays of attainment, as the white fire bean of my heart, I dynamically emanate and transmit this audible, tangible, fragrant, delectable, and visible substance of living samadhi and direction. I am a sun in the palace of the shining void, this temple a glistening world of infinite space, process of my transformations sounding the melodies, harmonies, and rhythms of the great solar symphony. I am the dazzling flame of life, here and now, because I am nowhere else but everywhere forever. I am Samadhi's palpable joy, tactile glory, and felt perfection of boundless being. I am that, I am that, I am that. I am the Divine Gypsy. I am the Divine Gypsy. I am the Divine Gypsy. An embodiment, an embodiment, an embodiment. I am oneness lived. <laughs> and this, uh, that, that mantra is the one that, I didn't say mantra, mantra is the one um, that uh, can... Um, I, don't, I don't mind if you say mantra. You don't? No. Okay. I like, I like we mantra. Have a few people asking, how do I attract what you and I have? Okay. And how did that happen? I don't know. Holy Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain it. Can I? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, normally, m on this planet, most people are born, well, they can, they're born with karmas. Be, everyone's born with a momentum already established in their lives. It's our, the goal of life is to burn through all of the outer karmas, which are like shells around our consciousness. They're like shells. They, they surround uh, the, the, pure, the pure effulgence of our heart. And they filter it so that as it comes out, it looks like a certain way, but it really isn't that way. And it's cultured to be that way because we think that we have to act this way in order to have divine love. And we, ha we think we have to act this way in order to get attention or approval. So it's like um, a, a little girl who, uh, as, as she's growing up, and she's a beautiful, sweet little girl, but every time, uh, every time she does something right, she's rewarded with... Uh, a book. Oh, here you can. You can. You're such a good reader, Susie. And so she thinks that she has to place on onto onto the aura of her her personality, the intelligence. So she becomes a very intelligent person, and she doesn't really show the effulgence, the the ability to dance the way that she was when she was a child. So that's a shell that comes around the outer consciousness. It's a it's a layer of karmas. And so as we burn through, as we recognize the divine identity within ourselves, we're able to attract that divine identity in another. And until we actually realize that within ourselves, there's just no hope for us. <laughs> we're right. going to constantly... Once you see it, mm -hmm. you can't create it in someone. You That's can't true. change somebody. No, you can't. So you have to recognize the mm -mm. qualities that you see in yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to... That's actually yeah, you have to recognize what you see in yourself. You have to see whatever the karma is within yourself so that you can go beyond it and see it from the perspective of the neutral witness, this Christ consciousness. And as you live more and more by the processing of your consciousness, by the life that you live that brings the experience that you need in order to shape and reform your consciousness back to its pristine state, oftentimes it takes embodiment after embodiment after embodiment, then finally, you attract to yourself the divine other, the twin flame, if you will. Or you can choose a path that does this consciously more accelerated in a more accelerated way. Samadhi game is such a path. As you give the mantras of Samadhi game, it accelerates your viewpoint of from this, this neutral witness so that you can burn away these layers of karma and attract to you even faster rather than having to wait 10 embodiments to get through a certain lesson. You go through them faster. Now, the rub is that it's more intense. Mm -hmm. 
have to the, be strong enough to the yeah. sails have to either be how do you do the sails they have to be the trimmed mm -hmm. they have to be trimmed properly so that they're car you're carrying the full weight of the wind and you have the momentum of moving forward constant that's why in chapter one of samadhi game it's all about divine identity we affirm our divine identity so we're not blown away off course when we start to deal with the dual human ego, which we will do. It's inevitable that the karmas of our lifetimes will be thrown up into our, our face and ask for transmutation, ask for reconciliation. It will come that way. And so our lives become accelerated. They become intensified in a way that most people will go, whoa, whoa, I don't want that. I can't deal with that. That's why very few actually take to the path, the very deep and profound path of enlightenment. Only a few. they can't stand the ridicule. They can't stand the acceleration that takes place mm -hmm. through the cells of the body. It actually starts to, to burn away and you can feel it tangibly in the body. So that's the rub of being a divine gypsy. Is the you feel the road beneath your feet a lot more as it rises up before it. you. You recognize it. <laughs> You've got to see, yeah, you've got to recognize where, how that road is lined so you can dance upon and it. And have faith that it's the yeah. right, right path. Yeah, you do. So let's go on. Let's give another mantra. Let's go ahead and give the affirmation and prayer of the divine masculine and feminine because we're talking about that masculinity and femininity. These two polarities in our beings that really deserve the respect that we can give them. Yeah. Affirmation and prayer of the divine masculine presence and power. O oh, sacred masculine essence of my eternal being, holy one in my core, I am that I am. I am that divine masculinity within me now. I am the will of that kingly consciousness being done. I am the unchanging awareness of each moment, the natural spaciousness of each instant. On earth that I am, even as I am that in heaven, this sacred, tangible silence, death to my ego, source of my sustenance, this radiant gift of love, heart of my purpose, the Dharma freely given to all. This shining void of stillness consumes every temptation of duality. This presence of samadhi dispels all cross-currents of the human ego. I am transfiguration's total surrender, forgiveness and reconciliation. I am resurrection's focus of wisdom and power. I am the absolute cooperation with the inevitable, ascension's expanding glory of eternal victory. All this freedom forevermore, I am. Om, peace, amen, I am. Now this is a masculine mantra, and if you give, if men can give this three or four times and accelerate, accelerate the consciousness of masculinity within them. Women, if you want to accelerate the masculine, you too can do that. But normally we do it a little bit. We want, to, we want to continue to hold on to that masculine edge. And women can hold on to their feminine edge by giving this mantra. It's the affirmation and prayer of the divine feminine. Come on. I am the divine feminine, the direct and connected fullness of beauty and forgiving grace. With me now in the intuition, dance, and relations of my heart. Chalicing the hallowed vision, purpose, and paradigm of the golden age dawning. Blessed queens of Buddhic, angelic, and Christic realms, Kuan Yin, Green Tara, Holy Mary, O Palace Athena, Parvati, Sarasvati, Lakshmi, whom I am. We identify ourselves here with these, these, these feminine deities. And it can be any deity that is uh, personally, um, uh, you personally love. It could be any, from any discipline. Continuing. Here, here are calls, calls for, for compassion, compassion, wholeness, and the manifest oneness in the flesh. And here, take the time to connect yourself with your own intention. What is your intention today? What is this, this passion of the heart that burns? How would you move your life forward today? What would you do in order to gain a clearer pathway? To outpicture more of your happiness. Visualize each the answer to each of those questions. Visualize it. See it done. And see if you can even press the vision of that done into a golden coin. So it has three-dimensional relief. 
And now, like a gypsy, take that coin and toss it over your shoulder into the fountain of life that is rushing and gurgling and, and flowing all about you. And then continuing on, guide us, intensify our path, the direct and connected fullness of beauty and forgiving grace, the manifest experience of healing and truth, and the mastery, liberation, and triumph of enlightenment. I am the cradled babe of eternity, safe in the bosom of omnipresence. I am the cradled babe of eternity, safe in the bosom of omnipresence. I am the cradled babe of eternity, safe in the bosom of omnipresence. So we amplify and specify both the, the masculine and the feminine. And by doing so, we can become more adept at its use rather than just having it be willy-nilly. Well, to, now I'm masculine and now I'm feminine. Nothing comes just by chance. Everything happens out of volition and will and love combined. So I want to take us to the third section of Samadhi game, which deals uh, not with, what does deal, it deals with both the first chapter, Divine Identity, the second chapter, which is all about um, the shadow, and then the, the fourth chapter, the third chapter, is this alchemical momentum and transmutation. You build such a power through your consciousness that you're able to begin to melt consciousness so that it can be formed, like softening the metal. You, soft, you heat up an a, a iron rod, and then you can bend it once it's heated. So what we're doing is we're, we're heating up this, this iron rod of consciousness, this duality, and we're going to now bend it with this ruby ray power and violet compassionate transmutation. What would you say is a duality that we're dealing with today? Um, uh, we're dealing with, I think what we're dealing with is uh, the inability to, um, to dance, really. To this gypsy, in inability to, what is it? To Progress. Desire to, uh, the <laughs> desire to be a gypsy and the, fear, and the fear of being a gypsy. And what's the opposite of gypsy? What is the opposite of a gypsy? What, does anyone have any idea? Yeah, well, the opposite of gy gypsy is a... Uh, um, um, Dig dignity. <laughs> right, right, right. It's um, dignity. Um, a gypsy. Gypsy, uh, would gypsy be, is a wanderer. So, so you, you stay place if you're not a gypsy. Gypsies and, wander. And and uh, status quo. We'll say uh, gypsy consciousness and status quo consciousness. Gypsy. There's got to be a name for it though. A gypsy and a. Uh, um, Landowner, a homeowner, stable, stable, a homeowner, a, uh, <laughs> a um, householder, mm -hmm. gypsy, and a householder. How about that? Householder? Mm -hmm. Isn't a householder kind of uh, opposite? Mm -hmm. A householder. Wanderer and or. Let's look and see if there's a steadfast. Let's, let's see what the. Um, the Thoris says, uh, traveler, nomad, rover, roamer, mm -hmm. wanderer, uh, gypsy, uh, diction, what would be uh, the given antonyms? Um, person with dark skin. Well, we've got the dark skin happening. Uh, right now, <laughs> yeah, I even, I'm tan inside. Wait, the opposite of, look for the opposite. I, I say um, stable. Uh, a free spirited person. Well, a stodgy. Let's, let's say stodgy. What stodgy, stodgy is. Stodgy. Let's let's look at stodgy. S T O G Y. Stodgy. Uh, cigars. That's a stogie. Uh, that's, that's a stogie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The old fogey stogie. <laughs> I E stodgy. Let's see if we can find stodgy. No. Stoogy. <laughs> Wait. The opposite. The opposite of gypsy. If you're opposite of just you are um, you are um, stabilized. Well, okay, uh, but it's it. Okay, so you see the opposite of gypsy. Well, that's but we're not talking about as humans. We're talking about as in character. If you have a stable character, stabilized character, it means that you're not open to change, unwilling to change. That's why I say status quo. Status quo is 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 the is the, the established okay. fact. 
You write it. Okay, so it's gypsy, and it's status quo. And the center is and, um, and willing. The, yes. And I say volition. Okay, you say volition. Okay, good. Volition. Okay. So we have gypsy on the top and uh, status quo on the bottom, and we have volition in the middle. So that's the three things. Let's go on to this, this violet, uh, compassionate transmutation, this ruby ray power, this passion, which is the mark of a gypsy, this passion and, uh, you know, we might even say instead of status quo, almost lifeless. You know, in fact, let's, let's take a second for a second and, and look. In <laughs> Hawaii, the gypsies are the, you know, the, the people who are indigenous in a way. They call themselves, uh, well, and the, the, the natives, of, you know, and they would they would flow from island to island, and they have what they call breath, and they call the people who come to uh, to Hawaii to visit there, haoles, which means without breath, without life. So status quo is, and without the status quo is almost without life. It's lifeless. And I think what we're trying to, I think the the Opposition, the, the two points that we're trying to get to here is life, filled with life and joy and lifeless status quo, stuckness. So let's go ahead and just give this mantra and then we'll come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Adorable, Adorable I am, am Samadhi, Samadhi that, that I am. am. That supreme Being ruler of ruby, ruby ray power and the and unconditional, unconditional love of the violet flame. flame. That dispassionately dissolves, consumes, transmutes, reconciles all phases of the wheel of karma in pure enjoyment. In resonant formation with the ascended Paramahansa Yogananda, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and Hans Baba, Sir Laparada and Saint Germain and Portia, Elohim, Arcturus and Victoria, Archangel Zadkiel and Holy Amethyst, Omri Tas, ruler of the violet planet, the great cosmic light and mighty lords of the flame from Venus, the hierarchs of the elements, Earth, air, fire, water, and Akasha, Virgo and Pelor, Ares and Thor, Prince Aramis and Diana, Neptune and Larara, and Zeus and Tara. I fly towards a secret sky of ruby ray power, invite it compassionate transmutation, and cause a hundred veils of illusion to fall each moment. As Portia, Saint Germain, Claire de Lis, Lanello, El Moria, Kuthumi, and the Maha Chohan, I say, Thus this far and no, and no further. further. I release the transformation. I mean, I release the transfiguring Figuring action, action of ruby ray power, power and the measureless mercy of the violet flame into, into the, the cause, cause effect, a record of memory of that tempting and tormenting ego, including the fears and the desires of gypsy consciousness and status quo consciousness. It is transmuted and consumed on the instant in love and volition. I will it done by the power uh, of love, love and, and volition. volition. I open and charge the golden pink radiance of divine love in its most powerful dynamic activity into the world and all mankind and into the world of my mind, feelings and body, my home and all my spiritual, sexual, social, recreational, romantic, personal, family, domicile, dietary, health, medical, career, financial, business, political and legal affairs. All compassionate I am Samadhi, I, that I am. I am the eternal, complete, and unconditional forgiveness and command of all dual human ego created down the corridors of past, present, and future. All transmuting I am Samadhi, that I am. I open through me now that violet consuming flame of divine love and compassion. I identify and surrender all human self-concern and all patterns and habits of duality, appetites of illusion, fears and desires of gypsy consciousness and status quo consciousness. I dissolve and transmute them all, cause, cause and effect, effect, record of memory, past, past present, present, and future. future. I replace them all with the fullness, fullness of myself, myself including, including volition, that, that state, state of perfect, perfect samadhi, held with full, full dominion, dominion here, here and now, and forever. As the all I, I am of samadhi, my very own neutral, neutral witness and silent watcher of all mankind, Elohim, Cyclopea, the great karmic board, and Saint Germain. I search the entire karmic record of all my past lives and its presentation in this life now. I identify, transmute, and transform all latent and or, or active returning mental, emotional, physical, and astrological debts and patterns deprived of frozen children such as 
and here you can say that you can even name the coordinates of this duality that you're working with, such discipline. as the disi discipline, status quo, gypsy consciousness, seemingly affecting or influencing any person, place, or condition, process, process or, or thing, thing I have wronged at any time, including, including, and here you can actually name your so-called enemies, your seeming enemies. And then there's here, I'm, I'm scrolling through the, the process called frozen child process, which you may use to help bring up an awareness of these knots in consciousness that hold us back from being all that we can be, being the full power of volition in our lives. You can see there's quite a bit of instruction there. Go ahead and read it and practice if you can. And then continuing on with the mantra, I am the full understanding and complete self-mastery over the causes and cores of these so-named conditions of seeming limitation, as well as all seeming yet to be named. By the law of forgiveness and grace, that I am. I see clearly into the shells of the dual human ego consciousness and its resulting situations. I am ruby ray power and vital compassionate transmutation, blazing to the cause, effect, or record of memory of these snakeskins. Here and now, reconciling limitations born from fear and desire, and ascending into the perfection of my unique I am presence, samadhi, and sexual essence, as the omniscient yoga of oneness that I am. I reach into the storehouse of my causal body with my great and loving arms of light, drawing forth ten times more substance of life than was misquantified. Of that life substance, I fashion a unique healing form of the sacred fire, a perfectly suited antidote for each shadowy shape, process and condition. I send, send it forth, forth this instant, instant to balance tenfold every debt to every part of life. I, I give thanks, thanks and I accept, accept it done this hour in full power as the omnipotent purpose that I am. I dissolve, consume, transmute and reconcile all karmic momentums of my past, present and future. All distorted shapes of duality, doubts, fears, desires, and seeming forces of opposition within my own world and cross currents of the human ego throughout the earth. I now cast all shadowy shapes created of the dual human ego, cause, effect, or record of memory, into the boiling sea and consuming fire of forgiveness, reconciling, replacing, and depolarizing, healing, and making art of the frequencies of the dual human ego with the eternal, perfect, and ascended shape and feeling tone of the healthy, playful, and creative I Am Samadhi. I flash ruby ray power and vital lightning of divine love through all my spiritual, sexual, social, recreational, romantic, personal, family, domicile, dietary, health, medical, career, financial, business, political, and legal affairs as the omnipresent void of eternity that I am. I capture the brains, bodies, and consciousness of every individual associated with these affairs, including, and you can name those who are you are involved with, I'll just say all those in the Samadhi game tribe, our family, Dante with us, yeah. Elliot at her camp yes. for yoga, even my sister on the Today Show and Sailor on Today's Show today. No, tomorrow, Thursday. Oh, is it tomorrow? Okay. Continuing. Producing that purity, purpose, perfection, protection, and pointed direction. I illumine them all by the light of that truth, dharma, and authenticity, and keep that light forever self-sustained in the eternal glory and victory of that love. By the power, the activity, and the authority, the omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence that I am, I speak to my untransmuted karma, and to every discordant or limiting condition, judgment, deprived, or frozen child that would seek to repolarize and imbalance my dual human ego, including the fears and the desires of gypsy consciousness and status quo consciousness. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the ruby ray and the radiant vital light of volition. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the ruby ray and the radiant vital light of volition. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the ruby ray and the radiant vital light of volition. I see you in process and perfect now, and really see the perfection already done through whatever challenge is, is up for you right now. See it completed. See it in your mind's eye that all of the challenge gone and all of the replacement of that, that reconciliation, that harmonizing, that peace, that joy completely in its place now. Don't wait 
for it to happen. Mm -mm. It's already done. Accept it now. Live as though now. Today, now is Wednesday. Now is Wednesday. My world is filled with the overflowing with the abundance, perfection, and presence of I am Samadhi. I strip from you, O oh, thou noble appearance of duality, all power to limit, harm, or disturb me, to judge, confuse, or intimidate me, past, present, and future. I walk henceforth as a quenchless fire of the shining void, and I know nothing. I do not know, and hence I am free. I am now and forever free. This is a beautiful mantra. It takes us through a whole range of consciousness that allows us to align ourselves with the neutral witness, dissolve the karmas that are coming up for transmutation, and re-inoculate ourselves with the joy of this ineffable presence of God within us, Emmanuel within us, this divine gypsy consciousness that dances and sings its gift given gone from moment to moment the passion of its life fulfilled thank you for joining us today thank you for being with us in this samadhi game tribe thank you for amplifying this light with us as we come together every time we say these mantras it puts another spin another quantum of energy into the mantra itself and every time someone gives these mantras on the planet whether it be together in concert as we give these broadcasts or if they give them individually from the top of a mountain off their iPad or iPhone this resonance begins to build in the structure of the word. Or even laying in bed and not mm -hmm. knowing which direction to go. Say it. If you're, if you're assailed with angers, frustrations, fears, or doubts, whatever it is, please remember to give these mantras. Just say them, even though the saying of them will be distasteful to you at the time. If you can figure out a way to just surrender to the words of the page, then you're a step closer to surrendering the depth of your heart from all of the anger and frustration and fears that assail us as human beings. And then you put yourself more closely into that neutral witness consciousness, that divine gypsy that dances and sings and shows the way as you move forward in your life. It allows the, the road to rise up before you and then dance your dance out into the world <laughs> down the aisles to the front stage mm -hmm. until you are on stage mm -hmm. singing and dancing with the gypsy kings. Galare, oh, oh, oh. Cantare, oh, oh, oh. When blue depends upon blue. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. But it's wonderful. And sing your song of life. We just encourage that. Sing it. Be a gypsy king. To be a gypsy king. And until then, we give you our, our joyous farewell. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the life, the light, and let your smiles and your dance sing. All right. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego. Hasta. We'll see you next week, Monday and Wednesday, 7 o'clock music, 7.30. Go to Samadhi Game. Download your free co copies of the Samadhi Game Manifesto. Add your contributions to the Samadhi Game tribe if you feel uh, that we have helped you or it has been of, of assistance to you in your life. Then contribute to the Samadhi Game tribe. And there's a link there on the SamadhiGame.com page. Have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Oh,